Well, what's up, everybody? This is Zach with KT Outdoors bringing you another episode today. Today, I'm sending the chickens to heaven. That's coming up next. Okay, so let's talk about this just briefly so that you get a sense of what we've got going on here. Um, I call this space chicken heaven, and here is the reason why. This is our summer chicken run, and you have to understand that the thing about a chicken is a chicken is descendant, all of them are, from a species of bird that I think generally is referred to as a jungle fowl. Okay, it's a ground dwelling bird that lives in a jungle. That is their natural habitat. <clears throat> and so if you can create a chicken run environment that mimics a forest, they'll feel their most happy. They'll, they'll be their most, you know, naturally inclined to do what chickens do. Now, we run a two chicken system, two housing system, whatever you want to say here on our homestead. And so I'll drop some other videos up here, there, wherever, I don't know, that way I think, um, and show you what we have going on for how we transition them. And basically with our two runs, we run a summer run, which is chicken heaven here. It is June 2nd and I just moved them up here today, literally this morning. Like they've been in here for an hour, if that, not even that, half an hour maybe. Um, and then our second coop is in a greenhouse. It's an old greenhouse that was here on the property when we moved in. It is certainly not a forest type environment, but it's secure and warm in the winter. The interior part of the housing is, you know, very warm. Any sort of sunshine warms it up. It's secure and we use it as an epic compost generating system with all of the fall leaves and debris and stuff like that all through the winter. So since November, maybe, the chickens have been in that greenhouse getting everything from hay and straw that we were feeding the rabbits and feeding them to grass clippings early this spring when we started mowing to fall leaves, shredded paper, sawdust, pretty much anything we could find that was carbon based we absolutely loaded into that space and they've been manuring it scratching through it the chickens have been pooping in there or the rabbits i mean and urinating and all that sort of stuff so just all of this fertility has been getting soaked into that carbon and now what i'll do is i'll go in there and i'll make a big pile and i'll use some fencing and i'll make a big compost pile with all of that aged manure and carbon so I, I sure had a video on that last spring how we did that I think I called it something about compost salad because I put the lettuce in it but I'll put that video right up here so you can go and check that out if you're interested <clears throat> um, but that deep litter system works awesome and it's how we build fertility okay which is why behind me here in their run it's really hard to see because of the light I've done the same thing okay so this space is just loaded right now with straw and hay and sawdust and shredded paper just all sorts of carbon down here really really deep I'll see if I can find the footage of when I cleaned that out and added that to the compost piles this spring so everything with our chickens is about building soil it's about creating a system that captures their manure <laughs> embeds it in carbon and creates a space in which we can store it until we're ready to compost it and then use it to generate fertility throughout the farm or homestead whatever you want to call it so anyway 
that's how we're running things here. It's a phenomenal system. I love it. I always love this day when we move them out here because these are the happiest chickens you're ever going to see in your life. They, I threw down grain to bait them up here and, and get them to come. And as soon as they got in here, they didn't even touch the grain that I put on the ground for them. They are all over these kosher weeds and the sunflowers and everything else that has sprouted in here that I just let grow. We've had a nice cool spring and so these weeds and plants were able to get really high in here and now in about a week's time, if that, they'll have this all mowed down pretty good. They'll get a whole pile of free feed out of the situation. The eggs will be epic for a few weeks. <clears throat> And then they'll live up here all summer with all of the beautiful shade that is provided by, you know, this big trellised up arbor system that we have. We've got a shade cloth back here for them. Just all sorts of stuff to help keep them cool through the heat of the summer. They feel nice and protected. We've got a couple fruit trees in here. There's a plum and a pluary tree in here. The pluary actually has fruit this year. So that's going to be fun. I'm looking and some of it's hanging, hanging low enough that when it ripens, they're going to beat me to it. I guarantee it. So it's just really fun to see this space start to come together for the first time. And like, it's just every year it gets better and better and better. So anyway, I hope you like this one. If you did hit that thumbs up, consider subscribing. We got a lot of great content coming here on the channel and you know, we just want to help you grow more food and enjoy everything that there is to do outside because life's better when it's lived outdoors. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.